Welcome back, everyone, to the Dark Forest. You just never know what's truly out there. Shout out to my channel members. Your ex, Bumps in the Night, Sammy Bradford, Evil Monkey Ninja Gamer, Creepy Clown Girl, Brian Clough, Abdel McClure, Divine Lemur, Jeremy DeGrace, Edward Head, what's up? Kathy Berkman, what's up? And Meg J. Also, shout out to my patrons, Matthew Bauer, what up dude, Josh Reviews Incorporated, Creepy Clown Girl again, and Jimmy X. No, enough with all the chit chat, let's get spooky. Humanoid Creature Experience let me start off by saying I was smoking the devil's lettuce with my friend when this happened. However, I have a high tolerance and I am a regular smoker and do not get paranoid from weed almost ever. I was definitely sober enough to know what I saw. This happened about a year and a half ago. My friend and I were in the park by our neighborhood. For context, it runs into our neighborhood but also backs up into the parking lot that is on a main street and trails run through it so you could walk all the way to the bayou to either end. The spot that we go to is along the trail but it's closer to the parking lot end than to the neighborhood end and we were doing our thing. It started to get pretty windy and looked like there was going to be rain so we decided it would be best if we got going since we had about a two minute walk back to our car. This trail and parking lot area are not secluded by any means. I live in a very big city, but we were there on a weekday, so there weren't many people around. We get to her car and get in, and we are waiting to warm up a little from the wind making it pretty chilly outside. The parking lot we were in has the street on the passenger side and the woods on the driver's side. I was looking at my friend talking to her when I see a woman walking out of the woods behind her. She had shoulder length black hair and really pale skin. I remember making a joke about her looking like our teacher, and so my friend turned to look and we ended up staring at her for a second. My friend said, that's probably a prostitute, and I laughed and I thought, oh yeah, totally. But then I noticed something strange. She wasn't really dressed like a prostitute. She was kind of dressed like a random sim that's generated in our world. She had on a white t-shirt and brown leather jacket and jeans and knee-high heeled leather boots. The trail that runs through is paved but this woman literally walked out of the woods in a place where there is no trail at all. It was really odd. She wasn't dressed at all how people normally are in workout gear and such. We go to this place often so she stuck out like a sore thumb. I started getting extremely bad vibes from this thing. I felt like it was something pretending to be human, like it thought, oh yes, this is what humans do. The woman started walking towards us. Okay, so you know when there's something in your path when you are walking and if you think you are going to run into it, you just move. Well, this lady walked in a dead straight line towards the back of the car. She was about six inches away from it, maybe. It looked like a glitch in the matrix. Then. This thing stands in the parking spot one over from us and pulls out a flip phone with an antenna, which is also strange as hell but okay. I'm still staring at it, but now that it's closer, I could get a better look at it. Its hair looked less like real hair and more like a wig as it was really shiny. It had a perg mask smile etched into its face and the eyes looked very dark, almost black. Around the eyes it looked kind of warped or like there was two sets of eyelids, almost like a mask. It was very uncanny, valley-ish. My friend said, Oh, hell no. We're not going to get sex trafficked. Quote, unquote, we're both young females. And I was like, Oh, crap, you're probably right. And we left speeding off. Whatever it was followed us with its glaze, but didn't come after us. I asked my friend if she thought it was really off too, and she said yes. She started talking about the eyes and we both agreed that whatever it was was not human. It looked like something wearing a human skin. I don't know if anyone's even going to take this seriously, but has anyone experienced or seen anything similar? Or just any advice maybe? Or information on what it was that I saw? 
I know sometimes sex traffickers have men dress up like women, but this was definitely not a man dressed like a woman. Her jacket was tight and so were the jeans, and her body didn't really look weird beside the clothing in her face. I know I may sound out of my mind, but I really do think there was something off about it. I'm not looking for attention or for this to blow up or anything. I'm just sharing my experience. A few months ago, I was hiking with some friends. Now that in-person school really doesn't exist anymore, everything's online, we have a lot of free time on our hands. The hike that we were on was close to the neighborhood that we lived at, fairly flat, so calling it hiking is even a joke in itself. We are surrounded by dense woods almost in every direction around the area. It's a small town, pretty much rural to be honest. So this happened sometime in the afternoon. We were just on our way to one of our friend's houses at the time. The forest was dense. The trees were thick. Even the sunlight had trouble getting through. Yet, it wasn't dark, if that makes any sense. We had almost reached our destination at our friend's house when we started hearing these weird noises. Now, we're used to the casual wildlife in the woods, but these sounds were different. They sounded like something was moving in the woods, snapping twigs as it did. At first, we didn't pay it any mind, we just continued walking. We figured maybe it was a deer or some coyotes or something like that. When the noises continued, and it seemed like they were getting louder the more we walked, we noticed we were probably being followed by some kind of animal. Again, we really didn't pay it any mind, but still, at least now we were on alert. I'm guessing, a few minutes later, we heard this really loud banging noise. I can't explain it or give any type of examples. It was a large bang noise of some sort. We all jolted back out of fright because it was really loud. When we turned around, that's when we saw this creature. There was this skinny, pale, bald figure just walking on all fours, but it was weird looking. It definitely had a human look to it. It had arms, it had legs even though the back legs were bent backwards like a horse. But the thing was frail. It had no skin, no complexion, complete paleness, and its eyes were glowing, I swear to you. The eyes seemed like they were growing a yellowish color. But other than that, there wasn't too much when it came to the facial features. It was a little ways out, but we could see its complete figure. It was slowly walking towards us, like it was curious, like a curious dog or something. I don't know what the hell it was. We all screamed. We turned around and we ran out of there as fast as we could. This is something that my friends and I tried to explain to our families, but they just don't believe that we saw some kind of monster out there. I don't know what that creature was, but we never went venturing off in those woods ever since. I have been listening to your channel for the past two years, and this is a true story that happened to me back in high school, and I figured it was a perfect opportunity to send you my version of the story. Usually, sometimes on the weekends, my family would go out into the woods and do a little bit of walking. We lived in eastern Texas, so I can't really say it's any type of hike, but my parents would bring all the essentials and food, and we would actually have like a little picnic out there just ourselves. It was my mom, my dad, myself, and my younger sister. We wouldn't venture off in the middle of nowhere, but at the same time, we did steer off of the trail, as my parents wanted to find a little open land and just have a little picnic and just relax and have a little family day on the weekend. If memory serves me right, it was probably on a Sunday afternoon after church. So, we eventually get there. Now at this time frame, I'm only 12 years old, and my sister is 10. My mom sets out the sheet, we pull out all the snacks and goodies and drinks and foods, and we just relax under the trees. Once I finish my food, my sister's right behind me on the trail. Our parents said not to venture off too far, as we were going to be taken back off to the parking lot probably in about 10 minutes or so. And me being 12 years old at the time, I had no interest in just sitting around there talking. I wanted to venture off in the woods and just walk around. 
as we were just casually walking around the dirt trail just kicking rocks and stuff like that, up ahead, we saw movement. It was only for a split second. I pointed at it to my sister to get her attention as soon as I saw it. Further up ahead on the trail, I don't know how far it was, I was 12, but it was pretty far out. On the right hand side behind some brush, I saw this large black figure that at the time I thought was a bear. I couldn't see the full figure of the bear, just part of it. But the thing I noticed right away was that it had large pointy ears, and that's not something that bears have as far as I knew. We started to walk closer, just cautiously, kind of excited yet terrified at the same time. As this thing was moving about, that's when we saw what this thing was. This thing suddenly gripped onto a nearby tree and slowly started picking itself up, climbing upwards into the tree, disappearing. When we saw the full figure of this beast, we knew right off the bat, it was no bear. This thing looked like a giant man-dog. I swear, it was the creepiest thing I had ever seen in my life, even to this day. It had the body of a human being mixed with some kind of dog. It was covered in black fur. Its head was like a Doberman Pinscher of some sort with pointy ears. It was so weird. My sister and I were freaked the hell out. We turned around and ran all the way back to our parents where they were still laying in the grass. Completely terrified and out of breath, we tried to explain to our parents what we had seen. My parents think we just saw a bear. They said maybe it was a cub, and maybe that's why it looked like that. I don't think it was a cub. It wasn't a bear either. I don't know what it was. Just this past December, my friends and I had Airbnb'd a cute little wooden cabin that was for rent for the weekend up in northeastern Wisconsin. None of us are strangers to snow, nor driving in the snow, or living in the snow, or even working in the snow for that matter. It's kind of a part of life in the northern states. But on our way towards the cabin, I was having a real difficult time driving up there as there was some heavy ice on the road. In order to reach this cabin that we were going to, it was a pretty narrow lane. It was in the middle of nowhere, and honestly, thank god the GPS never lost signal. We were arriving late, as we had some last minute preparations that we had to attend to. Due to its weather, I had to pull over and put chains on the front two tires. I know, you should have had a 4x4, tell me about it, but that's old history. Once the chains are put on, I get back in the vehicle and we continue on slowly still on the road just to be cautious. We're only going about 5, maybe 10 miles an hour, it was a pretty wild night to say the least. I remember we probably only had about another 10, maybe 15 minutes to go until we were finally at this cabin. Due to the snow and crazy weather, I was just ready to get the hell out of this car and get inside. As we were driving, out of nowhere, somewhere off on the right hand side, we see this pale creature run across in front of our car and darting off into the left behind some bushes disappearing into the night. It all happened so quickly, not even everybody saw it in the vehicle. I saw it, and my buddy Charles in the passenger side, he saw it as well. But the two guys in the back, they were just bullshitting, so they didn't really see anything. It was the scariest thing I have ever seen in real life. This is something that would belong in a horror movie. It was walking on all fours. It was really skinny. It looked like a human. It was bald. It had no tail, it didn't look like an animal, it looked really like a human. Its back legs were bent wrong, but god was it fast. The only other detail that I could see before this thing just completely disappeared into the night was I swear that its eyes were glowing. It was some kind of whitish, yellowish color. But I could be wrong. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed the allegedly true humanoid creature encounter stories tonight. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
share me with your friends, and again, like always, spread me like butter.